Welcome to the second lesson. In this time we are going to talk about soil degradation. First of all, let us look at what is soil degradation. So, sorry about the image. Uh, I will read it out and I will talk about, a little bit about this definition because it's quite important to get this right. So soil degradation uh, is the decline in soil quality caused by the, its improper use, usually for agricultural, pastoral, industrial or urban purposes. Soil degradation is a serious global environmental problem and may be exacerbated by climate change. It encompasses physical, chemical and biological deterioration. So this basically means that uh, the soil, the surface of the earth which can be used for agricultural production and that we use in our everyday lives, is basically in uh, constant danger uh, by whatever we use, be it agricultural activity or uh, the way we build uh, our cities and how we live in them. It's a serious global environmental problem and it can be made even more uh, problematic if it's combined with climate change as we talked about it last week. If you look at the map in the background it's also quite interesting to see that uh, severe degradation is basically across Europe uh, and uh, most of Latin America and uh, quite a bit of Africa. Um, obviously the big uh, deserts are uh, not used wastelands uh, and but there is hardly any uh, territory in the world that is not in one way or another um, exposed to uh, soil degradation. Obviously the very cold areas in uh, the north of uh, uh, North America and in uh, the northeast of uh, Russia are exempt from this but uh, wherever you see dense population um, you can see that soil degradation is a, is a serious issue. But what is soil and what, is, what do we need it for is a, is a logical question. Well, soil is everything basically. Uh, just going from, uh, in, uh, in a clockwise direction starting at the top, obviously all the soil organisms live in there. Um, <clears throat> So it's a very important living area for um, plants and vegetable, uh, vegetables, plants and animals and um, all sorts of creatures. Obviously it's part, uh, it uh, has a very important uh, function in supplying and purifying and cleaning the water uh, system. Uh, an engineering medium uh, which obviously means that we use soil to build our houses on into above. Uh, this is where we recycle nutrients and organic wastes. Well, nature recycles nutrients and, uh, and organic wastes. And it's uh, a very important medium for plant growth. So it's, uh, it's a vital element. Uh, I think it wouldn't be an exaggeration to compare it with our skin it's it's uh, you know our most complex organ on our bodies uh, is uh, is our skin and uh, and the soil is this uh, very complex very important organ uh, on the surface of the earth so what causes degradation well not here in the UAE probably but degradation by rainfall can be a serious issue in countries like the United Kingdom where, uh, according to the book, about 44% of the arable land is at uh, some sort of risk by rainfall. Uh, the rain creates a rills, which are these small uh, rivulets that you can see in the picture, which can then later on develop into gullies, which obviously lead to two major effects. One is physical disruption, you can see deeper and deeper valleys uh, cut into the soil, which uh, has obviously a massive impact on how easy it is to work that land, either for agricultural purposes or for uh, construction purposes. 
And of course, it, if we are talking about uh, agriculture, then a massive loss of nutrients. The water washes out all the nutrients. It goes, uh, goes away, which leaves the land uh, less fertile, less, less usable. Something that we are probably more familiar with here in the UAE is degradation by wind, uh, which leads to decreased fertility as the soil particles get, uh, get picked up in the, uh, in the wind and taken away, scattered around by the wind. Uh, it, makes, uh, it can have very, very serious uh, impact on how the soil can be utilized. A very, very good example, a tragic example of this is the 1930s Dust Bowl uh, crisis in the uh, central United States when uh, thousands of farms had to be um, evacuated and uh, I thought I would show you this picture because people lived for months and months on end uh, with, the, with these masks because everything was covered covered in dust at that time. Soil compaction is probably one of the um, um, deteriorations that we sort of very rarely mention, but it's also still very important. It's basically uh, concerned more with the physical properties of the soil, um, with all the heavy machinery and industrial work as these machines and, uh, and of course the grazing animals trampling on the ground, they change the composition of the earth, it becomes much more compact, which uh, obviously has an impact on the water and air movement. And if you remember back my first uh, image, which, uh, which showed that one of the most important functions of, uh, of the soil is water purification. Obviously when, when, it when the water can't go through it because it's so dense um, it uh, doesn't function well enough as, uh, as water purification source um, and uh, in extreme cases as in the background image you can, uh, you can see perhaps it can lead to surface crusting and lower water storage. Um, <clears throat> this is quite self-evident, I think. Something that you probably all thought of as part of the uh, degradation, reasons for degradation, is the impact of chemicals. These chemicals come from three main sources. One is fertilizers used in, in, in agriculture to improve the quality of the soil. Temporarily, obviously, it does improve the quality of the soil, but after a while, all these chemicals remain in, uh, in, the, surface, in, in the soil and uh, create deposits. And uh, instead of uh, improving the quality of the soil, it actually destroys the soil. Not a very important source, unfortunately, of chemical uh, damage is industrial waste. And you probably figured that domestic waste, all the rubbish that we pr produce in our households somewhere has to end up somewhere and that is usually the soil unfortunately. Another very interesting um, process that takes place is salinization which is basically uh, a consequence of uh, irrigation, putting water to the plants as you are growing them but if this water uh, cannot leave out, cannot go anywhere, and it gets deposited, 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 um, it leads to salinization, that is increased salt content. Uh, this <clears throat> image here shows very well how uh, the soil decreases, and by the soil, by the soil decreasing, the salt in the uh, in the soil. Cannot, cannot be uh, deposited anywhere, so it starts appearing on the surface of the earth. And I suppose everybody remembers <coughs> what the Romans did to Carthage. Exactly, they hinted salt on Carthage to stop it uh, from growing. This is probably a myth, but still, uh, the 
impact of salt on soil is very, very clearly known. Okay, so here are your questions for uh, this week's uh, quiz. Mention at least three functions of the soil. Describe water degradation, what happens with water degradation. When was the big wind erosion crisis in the USA? What was its name for an extra point? Um, question four, what are the main sources of chemicals in the soil? The three main sources that I mentioned before. And choose one of the degradations and suggest at least one possible way of decreasing the damage is your written task in question five. What we are going to do on Tuesday, well, starting on Thursday and then finishing on Tuesday, is a little bit of a group work on uh, uh, researching a source of a de degradation and then inventing ways of stopping the erosion. So I hope you will enjoy doing this and uh, thank you very much for listening.